Welcome to AGSC 3019. In this short video, we'll see how we set up a hydroponic system using the WIC system. It's a very simple system and um, I'll go through the steps. Let's look at the materials we need. I'll need a, a reservoir. I'm using this oil container as a reservoir. I'll need pots to match up to my reservoir. I'll need cutting devices. We have hacksaw. I have a craft knife here. And uh, I am using this to give me a template to cut out. So let's see. This template can fit snugly into the pot. So I'm using it to make my circles which I have to cut out. This will give me a rim where the pots can be suspended in the reservoir. So let's go through that first step. I will make a circle using this styrofoam bowl. Right, so I'm making a circle there. I'm going to start my cut with a craft knife or a sharp knife. Cut enough space. And then I'm going to use the hacksaw to help me complete the cut. Now I've cut my two circles and uh, these can fit in here, right, without falling through. Now what I need to do next is to paint this because I don't want light getting into it. It's going to cause the nutrient solution to develop algae. I don't want the nutrient solution getting green. So I'm going to paint this in a dark color. That's my next step. I'll proceed to a place where I can use a bomb spray. I got a cheap bomb, bomb spray for $22 and um, it should be a dark enough color to cover up the light getting in there. Next, I'm going to mix my nutrient solution. What I need for that are three fertilizers. This one is blue corn, 12, 12, 17, plus two, plus three sediments. This one is calcium nitrate. It's a bit sticky because it's hygroscopic. It picks up moisture, All right? So calcium nitrate. And this one is Epsom salts, magnesium sulfate. Right, so let's see what 
proportions I need. For I'm going to mix 20 liters of the nutrient solution. For 20 liters, I need 1.2 tablespoon. So one tablespoon, this will give me one tablespoon. Point 0.2 is a small amount. All right, this is less than, yeah, 1.2. Calcium nitrate, I'll need 0.65, but let me take up the magnesium sulfate, 0.35. That's about 0.35, I'm estimating here. All right, 0.35. And since this is sticky, I'm going to use it last. 0.65, that's over half. Right, so I think I have about 0.65 here. So I'm going to put all of these together. And tie them up. And get ready to suspend it into my 20 liters of water. So it's tied up here. I'm going to fill my water, which is 20 liters. So I, all I need to do is put, to put 10 of these bottles. Each bottle has two liters. So 10 of these will work. Right, my container just made it. I have my fertilizer in a bag, a tea bag. So I'm going to suspend it until it dissolves. I'll leave it there for a little while, a couple hours. Right, so I'll leave that there until it dissolves. And that's my nutrient solution. It is made up of 1.2 tablespoons of 12, 12, 17 point two point six. Five tablespoons of calcium nitrate and 0.35 tablespoons of magnesium sulfate and this is my nutrient solution I'm going to use for my wick system the next step in this process is to prepare the pots now remember in this system we do not use soil, we do not use peat moss because it's, the medium will remain too damp and the roots going to rotten. The only peat moss that you're going to use because you can't remove it is what the seedling comes with. So the seedling will come with a bit of peat moss but you don't worry it, this is promix. This shouldn't bother, right? So, we're going to prepare the medium. Right, so I have my pots. I need to put wicks in the pots. Alright, so I will cut strips of wick. What I'm using here 
these old t-shirts they have been washed several times and they should be absorbent so i'm going to insert my wick into the pot uh, for this plant i would estimate it will take about three wicks the wicks must be long enough to get up into the medium and down into the reservoir all right it should be long enough so that it can reach the nutrient solution in the reservoir all right now let's see how long these wicks are and if they're sufficiently long enough right so they should be down in the water in the solution for quite a while so they will you will not run off with nutrient solution supplying the plant this is called coco peat all right it's compressed and it will serve the same purpose this is about 50 dollars for a block we are looking at the best medium to use i've experimented and i've found that um, using a combination of material will give me the best results or a better result so i use a combination of cocoa peat which is the bigger one and a finer one which will well a finer cocoa peat i would say all right if you want you may add some clay pellets to it it's optional and this is um, another product that you may add it is vermiculite vermiculite is a specialized type of rock that they use in making certain soil types right so you can mix up this and i found that i've gotten the best result with that so that's what we have here a mixture combination right the cocoa peat the coarse one the finer one put a little bit of um optional some clay pellets and some vermiculite and this gave me a beautiful result now i also found that by using j cloth i got very good absorption so i put four of these j cloths into this size of pot and i got very good absorption so i tried it out already and i'm going to do it again some fibers in here make sure the wicks are coming up into the fibers All right, I can add a little bit of polite into it. I can add a little bit of this into it because you want to have a stable medium so the plant don't topple over. And the wicks are coming up, so it should be able to carry nutrient solution high up into the pot. Right, so I've prepared my pot. Let me prepare the other one. I will insert water and plant. Next, I'm going to put some water in there. 
I'm going to fill up my reservoirs. I'm going to take one of the pots. The pots are ready. The fertilizers have dissolved. There's a little sediment there, but that wouldn't dissolve. So I don't bother with that. Right? That, that was the purpose for putting them into a tea bag. So I can take out this. It'll take a little while to dissolve. You'll notice that my nutrient solution has a slight bluish tinge. It's not very deep blue. It must not be too concentrated. If you make it too concentrated, it's going to burn up the plants. That's why we work with measurements. So the wicks are protruding just a little way under the pot. So the water doesn't have much distance to travel to get up into the medium. So the wick is as close as possible to the reservoir underneath. So I'm ready to put in my other pot. Right. The next step is to transplant. I have my well-hardened seedlings here and I am going to look for two nice ones and plant them out. This one looks good. So you'll ask what combination, I would say a 50% of the fine material and a 50% of the coarser material, all coconut products. For the size of what? I'm going to put one plant. Now I must remind you that before you even plant, test your system first. Make sure absorption is taking place. All right? Make sure absorption is taking place test your system. So I'm getting some moisture coming up here so I can use this as my hydroponic wick system. And there you have it. The plants have been planted. The wick's going to pull up the nutrient solution into the root zone of the plant and the plant will be supplied with nutrients and water in this way. So I'm going to place this in a well-lit area where it can get at least six hours of sunlight per day. I'll monitor it. I know that my wick system is working if I see moisture up here, if I see the coconut qua moist i know that my wick system is working properly if not i'll have to go in here and check on it again and make sure that everything is okay 